You ready to start fighting for real? So lava still hurts you when you wear the charred ring, but not enough that you can't run through it. We're about to encounter a very sad Night Solaire. Uh, one of the reasons people like him so much is he has such an upbeat, chipper, helpful personality throughout the whole game. But he came here to find his own son, and when you son as in S U N, like because he's a warrior of sunlight and he worships the sun. Uh, joke about Celestia's ass. But um, he uh, this is the point where he realizes he searched everywhere and he can't find a son, and it's made him very sad. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Why? Oh. Uh, spoilers, he is about to find his quote-unquote son, but it's not a happy ending. Because spoilers, Dark Souls is all about grim dark shit. If you listen to episode 3 of the podcast, you probably heard I inserted Mike Grimm's spiel about Dark Souls from Video Game Apocalypse episode 48. Which I wholeheartedly agree with. It's one of the reasons why this game is so good. In that this game treats you like a pile of shit. And doesn't fucking hold your hand. You have to fucking get through it. You have to learn how to play it and get good. <laughs> I say that as I'm obviously you know, fucking stumbling through the game for the 50th time. This area, another reason this area seems lazy. Is that all they did was fill it with dragon asses. It's literally, you can find undead dragons in the game, and they're all, they're just upper torsos that, like, claw at you and spew uh, poison. But this area down here is full of nothing but lower halves of dragons that run at you. As somebody once said, and that somebody was me saying this right now because I've never heard it anywhere else, uh, the uh, Ruins of Lost Isleth has more dragon ass in it than BadDragon.com. You don't want to aggro those fucking dragon asses either because they jump around and stomp all over you and there are a lot of them. They don't respawn if you kill them, but I have never gone through here and cleared them all out. Really? You lived through that? Okay, one more to go. Uh, in the original version of this game, before the patches, uh, you couldn't really avoid them. You would aggro some of them. But if you follow the path I just ran through, you uh, don't aggro any of them, and you don't have to worry about them. There's a hidden bonfire over here that helps out a lot as well. Especially because you're about to fight a shitty bullshit fucking RNG, terribly designed from software, please kill yourself, boss. From software, I love you, but god damn, whose idea was it to make the bed of chaos the way it is? Alright, here's the hidden bonfire. What do you gotta say? Need humanity. Everyone needs humanity, dude. Go uh, fucking donate to charity and save a puppy, and you'll restore your humanity, or at least your faith in it, or your faith in yourself. I assume if you're listening to this, you're human, so restoring your humanity can involve restoring yourself. I want to go ahead and use up souls, so that way when I inevitably die uh, coming up, I won't feel like I lost as much. I'm going to say, un I'm going to unwisely say, because knock on wood, in this entire playthrough so far, I have not, not recovered my blood stain. So I've always managed to recover my souls, which usually isn't very many, and my humanity. Uh, but you know, all of that might change with this one fucking terrible boss fight. I really can't stress to you how poorly designed this boss is that we're coming up on. Ugh. I feel a little ill thinking about it. Alright, there's a bunch of little fire demons down here. We're just going to run past. Really is no point to fighting them. They don't drop anything good, and they don't really give you that many souls, and they're easy to avoid. I've seen this area a lot, too, because I used to, or one time, I farmed a red titanite slab... Uh, and the enemy that drops those is this horrible uh, HP Lovecraft tentacle monster 
And so I would run through here and kill a couple of these and re warp back to that bonfire. Uh, you'll notice the top of them is covered in eyes and has a giant gaping mouth that you can fall into. So it's uh, they're not pleasant. <laughs> This game has some really creepy enemy design, I'm telling you. A uh, Witch of Isleth is up here. She wears black. If we get to her quick enough, we can just murder her and not have to worry about anything. She should drop the uh, Isleth catalyst. And then as soon as we walk over there, we'll get Knight Kirk. Oh, or we'll get him right now. Alright, Kirk, this is your last stand. Make it count. Oh, you got murdered. What a shame. What a shame, Kirk. We'll always remember you. Alright. Here is the other one of these. These guys can also spew a cloud that uh, eats through your armor. There's a pyromancy in there. Alright. There's no fucking delay in it anymore. Time to take our lumps. So here's how the Bed of Chaos works. It's not like any other boss in the game. Need caster? I can't take this. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Uh, it doesn't work like any other boss. It has a life gauge, but it dies in one hit. But you have to get to the core of it. It's this giant tree monster that has big, tenderly arms that can reach the whole arena and hit you. You have to run all the way to the right, destroy a core. Run all the way to the left, destroy a core. I call them cores. I don't know what they're actually called. And then the center will open, and you have to get inside that center and hit the heart of it one time, and it'll die. That sounds easy. The problem is, he has, or it, has these big hands that can hit you, and as you deal damage to the sides of it, it mutates and gets these big fiery scythe things, and can cast fire up out of the ground. But the most annoying part is big chunks of the floor crumble away and there's a bottomless pit under it. And when it swings its big stupid fucking hands down, even if you block them, they will just hit you and you'll fall in the pit and die. Uh, it's super frustrating. It aggravates the teetotal shit out of me. And it really is truly the worst part of this whole fuck. If this wasn't in the game... Uh, I don't even know what I would complain about, uh, but it is just shitty and terrible. Uh, it's also, I'm just going to point out, it's also the only boss in the game that if you die and come back into the room, it doesn't reset. So as you slowly break the sides of it, it'll continue staying in that phase. And there is a way to cheese it, but you need a bow to do it. And in this run, I can't use a bow. So if I ever do standard issue hunter, I'll be fucking set. All right. I don't. I think once in my Dark Souls career, I have beat this boss without dying. Uh, probably using the cheese it method, but we're not going to use the cheese it method. We're going to fight it the way From wants us to. So, let's go in here and get the shit kicked out of this. First one is easy enough, since none of the floor is crumbling. You can just run over here to it. You generally won't get hit. You just have to get inside of here, get through these little tree branches, and hit this side of it. This will cause it to mutate the first time. I could skip this cutscene, but I'm watching it to delay having to try to run to the other side of this boss. Alright, now he can shoot a fire scythe down and make pillars of flame erupt out of the floor. And all of that shit will knock you into bottomless pits. Okay, as we're running back, the floor is going to start collapsing. So we... Okay, here comes one of his hands. Damn it. Uh, okay, now we can't... There's a fire scythe. We can't run wherever we want because that part of the floor is collapsing. We have to get over to the other side. Okay, one of his hands hit me. As you can see, I very, very, very luckily didn't get knocked into a fucking cheesy death pit. See, there's his hands... I'm getting my shit rocked. Let's roll away and see if we have a chance to heal. Sippy sippy. There come, there's the fire scythe. Okay. More of the floor is now collapsing. Let's see if we can get to his... Other, okay. God damn it. God damn it! He's about to swing his hands down again. Motherfucker. You cheap fucking son of a bitch. 
Uh, I almost fucking got myself killed by rolling too soon. Okay, we have made it to the other side. We have to get through these and then uh, hit this side of him. God damn it, will you swing your fucking sword? Okay. We'll skip this cutscene. Alright. Now the shit hits the fan. I think this is where he starts summoning fire pillars. We have to get... <sighs> Motherfucker. We have to get back to the middle of the, the arena. And Okay, there are the fire pillars. Mm, I don't really see how I could have avoided them right then. Try to get our HP back. Nope. Not going to happen. We're going to keep getting hit by stupid bullshit that we can't see coming. Get up. Roll. Roll. We are going to spam heal. Okay. We can't actually get... We're not allowed to have ha HP. So we are just going to roll ahead. I am going to stop and take a sippy sippy. Okay. Okay. And... Okay, look. We got uh, brushed off a ledge. Isn't that good? Isn't that fun? If you go back and look, you can see all the things I could have done to avoid it to happen. This is the most dark side field I'm ever going to be. But, I mean, seriously, what the fuck was I supposed to do in that fucking situation, man? It's just a fucking train wreck. Alright. I still, there's a chance I won't get to him because just running from here, you run towards him. I, I'm just going to refer to it as him. Fuck the gender of it. And the main ground collapses, and you have to fall onto a certain tree branch. And then you can run up and get to the core of the boss. But that whole time, there are fire pillars and fire scythes and giant fucking hands coming at you. So I've been knocked off plenty of fucking time just trying to get the 30 feet across the room. So, here we go. All we can do is go for it, baby. I don't, at this point, I had what, like 9 or 10 humanity, so I'm not worried about getting that back. I have enough items to regenerate it. Okay, it's already summoning fire pillars. Okay. What are you going to do? Here comes one of your hands. Here comes your other hand. There comes a fire scythe. Get HP back. Sippy sippy. Okay, the floor is going to collapse. Mm. You're, you're stomping all around. Okay, I have to fall. And I couldn't fall onto the tree branch because one of his hands hit me. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Did all run of shame back from the bonfire. All right. Might as well get full HP. It's not like I'm going to have many chances to heal while I'm in there. All right. <laughs> I do enjoy doing this little slide motion while I'm going down here. Okay, all we have to do is get to that fucking tree branch, run up there and kill him. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if the gods of from... Okay, there comes the one hand, here comes the other hand. There goes my HP. I don't I don't have time to heal. Nope, he's already swiping his hands again. Okay, okay, he's losing his shit. Okay, we are on the branch, we're still not home free. He can still hit us with shit until we get in here. Alright, we've made it in here. The only thing left that can hit us is if he summons the fire. We have to get through all these branches because there's got to be one last tedious fucking shit. There's the heart of him. Oh god. Oh god! We're so. Hit it! Fuck, man. Ah. I don't even feel accomplishment when I do it. Ugh. God, ain't I glad that's over with. Get me to Firelink Shrine. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've had enough of that. Ugh. Alright, well, now that all that shit's over with, let's uh, get our humanity back up to where it was pre beta chaos. I meant to use these. I want at least 10. Nah, I might as well use all these twin humanities. How's the stream chat doing? Are y'all just as disgusted as I am and unable to say anything? Um, there really isn't anything left to the game now. Uh, we have all the Lord Souls, so we can go into the Kiln and uh, run up to Gwen and kill him, and it's the end of the game. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, I could go do more PvP. Or 
I could finish. I could max out my gear. Not that that really matters at this point. Gwen isn't exactly the hardest fucking enemy in the game. It would be fun to run around in the uh, woods, fight people, maybe try to invade people. Congratulations. Thank you, Wes. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Let's go ahead and use up... Uh... Oh, I have a Firekeeper Soul to use. That's right. Might as well use that as well. Go ahead and max out our levels. Oh, that's not what I need to do. Or not max out our level. The max level is... Uh, for a warrior, I believe the max level is 710. 710. You can actually use a Firekeeper Soul as an item. It gives you a bunch of souls and I think five humanity. Uh, your Estus Flask maxes out at plus seven, but you can't really do that in one playthrough. Well, that's right. I haven't. Uh, I didn't fight Gwendolyn. Can't. Oh, and I haven't done the Painted World yet. Well, shit. And I getting ahead of myself. I was all rip roaring to go shove a short up Gwen's ass, and I got shit to do. This world ain't done. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if you can invade people in the uh, painted world. I've never really thought about that. You're all alone, Wes? What, in the stream chat? It says there are uh, other viewers, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I imagined them in a fever dream. Ooh. Do I need any items? Some blooming purple moss would be nice. So let's leave some souls. I'm going to talk to the merchant. Go talk to the undead merchant lady. And be like, shut up, lady. Well, lent you some. It's a good thing I had boys. My character didn't even give a shit. She was like, what? Get off this cliff, you fucking nut. Okay. Now, how did that... I guess it's because he fell on top of me. I was like... I did all this. How did that fucking knock me down? I really wish I could go to Ula Seal and do the DLC, but I only have that on the PC version. <laughs> I said that, Wes, and one of the other viewers left. It's so strange. There were so many people in the other two streams of this game. I guess they're just busy. They have lives to get back to. Do I want any of this shit? I don't think I'm gonna get cursed any, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna buy a few more of these. Just for fucking walls. Okay. Come again if you please. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Beg your pardon? Come again, lady. What, what? I could try to kill the uh, Hellkite Drake, the one that swoops down over the bridge and burns you to death. That would be a fucking battle. I've killed him before, but usually, generally, it's on characters that uh, use really high level magic. Because you can just fucking two shot him. He's kind of annoying to fight otherwise because he uh, flies up and gets his HP back. Oh, you're not there in the magic spot where I can jump attack you. You took everything from me. Alright, let's head down to Orlando. Take care of some shit. Ugh, one of you followed me here, didn't you? Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, to get to the Painted World, the easiest way would be the tomb, the Dark Moon tomb, but I did not activate that, so let's just go here. I did grab the doll while I was in the asylum, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. So we can get into the Painted World. Ooh, we'll get to see Priscilla. And we'll get to touch her fluffy tail. So good. So fluffy. Wow, such fluff. Much tail. Thanks for the uh, warning, bro.
That is a long drop. <laughs> that seems like it would be an OSHA nightmare to have this style of elevator with no security precautions. I thought I could land there and be slick and take a little bit of a shortcut, but whatever. Whatevs, yo. It ain't no but thing. wonder how many people played this game all the way through and somehow didn't read anything on the internet and don't know about the painted world. This is a completely optional area. We're in the bottom of the cathedral that I fell off of 50 fucking times trying to get to that chest last night. That was very shameful. Hey, Painted Guardians, you're stupid. They're like, what? That one right there has uh, Iron Tarkus's gear behind him. It ain't a bad set. It's very heavy. Black Iron, I think it's referred to. I like this cutscene to go into the painted world, so we'll watch it. And here we are. This place is very strange. Also, we can't leave until we get to the end of it and either walk past Priscilla or murder her. So we're in it for the long haul, baby. There are creepy crow people here and these infested, bloated, undead things that can toxic you. It's not a pleasant place. It's also got full of wheel skeletons, but its inhabitants are kind. Okay. Uh, there is a shortcut we can utilize, though, and we're going to do just that. It's full of draglings, too, and everybody hates draglings. Try projectile. That's okay. How about I try ignoring your sign? You're like, damn. Try not being an asshole. An asshole. say we wear strong hey that's a good pro tip there's a uh, draglings here that like have a weird ugly bloated head and if you run up and just murder them they'll spew fucking toxic blood everywhere I don't need your broken sword uh this will aggro some crow people Oh, I meant to go get the red uh, eye orb before I came here, just to see if uh, you can invade people here. I assume you can, because an NPC invades you here, but I don't know, I just didn't know 100%. Alright, I think there's a dried finger right here. Uh, I feel like it makes people more likely to invade you? I don't know, there's a lot, there's so much about this game I don't know. I've played it so much, and yet, I just, I'm like, what? I'm like, Dark Souls? Okay, those are the things that will toxify you in this horrifying and ugly. Back up. Oh, see, it don't take much. <laughs> uh, if you kill them with fire, I don't think they actually toxify you. So, Ugh. They also spew fireballs. You gotta, like, I guess hit them from very far away so you don't get hit with their shit. What the fuck, man? I was just like, I wasn't anywhere near. Get the umpire out here. A fucking bad call. You're currently wrecking the Elite Four of XY. Well, that's good, Wes. I'm glad I can provide good background noise for that. What's your team? Are any of them Pokemon I would know? Uh, here's the shortcut I was referring to. You jump from 
Wait, I might be a little too high for the shortcut right there. I think it's down here. Oh, yeah, you jump. I think it's from here. You go whoop, and then you land in this courtyard, and you can open this door, and that takes you back to where the bonfire is. So it's kind of a shortcut. That fucking thing over there is reminiscent of the Phalanx, the first boss of Demon Souls. Because it's a bunch of blob monsters with shields and spears. If we walk over here, King Jeremiah will invade us. He has a ridiculous fucking head wrap. And he drops a whip. A spiky whip. They should call him King Spiky Whip Jones. You didn't think I'd have my shield up, did you? You think there's a clock in my head. Is that all the dragons? King Jeremiah should be invading here, is that? He uses pyromancy as well. He's a strange fella. There he is. Dark Spirit King Jeremiah has invaded. His uh, giant, ridiculous head wrap is a reference to uh, the monk's head wrap from Demon Souls, which you could get. Uh, it had something to do with the boss, the third boss of, uh, or the second boss. Whatever you're casting, just stop it. Of the uh, tower area. It is the third, because it's the Fool's Idol, the two man eaters, and then the uh, the last one was him. Yeah, that's right. I had quite a time fighting him in my Demon Souls playthrough because I just kind of kept rolling around him <laughs> and trying to dodge his fucking uh, homing yellow soul arrows or whatever it was. You are entirely too unsettling to exist, so I'm going to end you. Where the hell did you come from? Did you fucking torch? These guys can drop spears and leather shields, which is strange because they don't have leather shields equipped. It looks like a giant version of the target shield. This is actually a place you can farm in this game. Uh, if you get all the gear that increases the amount of souls you get per kill uh, and have a big AoE attack, you can run up here, blow these guys up, get a bunch of souls, and then uh, warp back to the bonfire and just repeat. Hmm. If we go down this way... We're going to have to deal with wheel skeletons in the little corridors. But, I don't feel like going around. So, let's see if we get our asshole cleaved apart or not. Because, there's one right there. The first time I ran into one of them, which actually wasn't here, it was in the catacombs. Uh, yeah, I shit. I shit pretty fucking hard. They are not something you want to run into, especially in a little corridor like this. Because they will back you into a corner like this, and they will reduce your stamina and knock your shield away. Not fun. They're kind of the mimetic uh, worst enemy of the game. Because people talk like to joke that and if they unlock harder versions of the game all it does is either add more wheel skeletons or replace like all enemies with wheel skeletons. I always forget how many are down here. I think there's one behind this illusionary wall. Uh, there are several in the big open room that I don't feel like fucking with. They're like the Wu-Tang Clan. Skeleton wheels, or wheel skeletons ain't nothing to fuck with. Alright, hopefully we can kill them quick enough. Alright. This leads up to a guy that drops a pyromancy. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Heracross? Oh, the, uh, the bugs... You nicknamed your combat Godiver Noah Coon? Sorry, I was responding to a picture uh, Wes linked to me. Ooh. Painted World of Aramis or whatever it's called. Those guns? There you are. Look at him, so wheely. Such wheel. Wow. Much again. Good gun, buddy. I've only ever gotten their wheel shield like once it lets you do like a shitty attack all right this should be the uh the annex key yeah technically i could i don't even have to be down here 
but there's a thing you can turn that opens, uh, yeah, here's the illusionary wall. Yeah, I knew there would be a skeleton behind it coming at me. You need to calm down, bro. You're having to, oh, God. Yeah, if, okay, I was about to say, if he doesn't stop spinning right there, I am fucked. But luckily, he did. Ugh. It is not, there's, you can't make a character in this game that doesn't get cleaved by fucking wheel skeletons. They just fucking go board you. Full bore. Alright, let's turn this fucking thing. Then we can get the fuck out of here. Oh god, did I really pick no? I was like, oh, I'm just gonna homeward bone out of here. And they're like, oh, do you want to escape to safety and not be killed by wheel skeletons? And I was like, yeah. But I wasn't. I secretly was like, no, I want to die. Hey kids, want to die? Okay, get me the fuck out of here. I guess I could just run straight to Priscilla. There's not really anything else here I want that I could use on this character. There's the blood shield, which looks cool, but once again, I can't use it. So, let's just uh, tank straight to Priscilla. I want some fluffy tail! Fluffy tail! Son, do it all for the fluffy tail. There's many a man has been humbled and brought to his knees by the fluffy tail. If it was a normal tail, maybe it would be resistible. But it's just so goddamn fluffy. There's no fucking getting around it. Once you've laid eyes on it, you're already done. You're already not coming back from the world of fluff. There's a lot of enemies here. They come up behind you. Shit happens. A big night guy can fall on your head. But they're very avoidable. Like most enemies in this game, you can just kind of run around them. There's that guy. Hey, how's it going? He's like, well, it'd be better if you didn't fucking ignore me. I'm like, sorry, bro. I got places to be. You can't stand around here all fucking day, dude. What do you think this is? Priscilla! How you doing? Sweetheart, honey. How you doing there, sweet cheeks? He is right on the other side of the door and he is so mad. Especially now that I did that. <laughs> Bye. Okay, um... Yeah. Use this. We don't need you. Let's talk to Priscilla. She's one of the only bosses that you can talk to. She's like, please leave. And you could run past her and draw and jump off of that platform right there and just leave. You don't have to fight her. But look at that tail. It's so fluffy. I can't get over it. She uh she drops a unique dagger if you can cut that tail off. Uh the main thing with Priscilla is when you fight her, she turns invisible. And her scythe uh, can make you bleed very quickly, and you take a shitload of damage when that happens. So, we're just going to have to deep racer down. Bye, Priscilla. Bye, Fluffy Tail. I'll miss you. Really? I should have hit her more, but whatever. Alright, now we have to look for her footprints like that. And now we know where to attack. If we can stagger her, uh, she'll stop being invisible. But we gotta be careful not to get scythed. Get scythed! There she is. Hey, Priscilla. Remember when you used to be invisible? Hey, we got her tail. Maybe we'll give it to somebody. I'm gonna fade someone's world and give it to them. Priscilla, I'll miss you. I would wear what is it her, but I know what it is. It's Fluffy Tail, and it's gone now. And we'll never see it again. Oh, my souls are so demonic. 6660. King Jeremiah set is right here with his big ass head wrap. Uh, okay, now for the horrifying uh, animation of leaving this place. 